Bye. 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 Say hi, everybody. Hi, I did the hi. Yeah. Hi, who did you to make it a test? Something's going on with my eyesight right now. Like, I'm seeing like, like fuzzy, blurry spots. You know how like if you look at a, at a computer screen for too long, or, um, or if you take quite a few pictures with a flash, like those like spots and stuff like it's just it's not going away and I don't know what I did other than sitting here editing the foolery going on right now it is amazing they have been doing stuff like this like I got up for a potty break and they decided to start wrestling and then one of them got hurt and started crying so I'm in the bathroom yelling to them I'm like if y'all would just stop go play nice no one would get hurt <laughs> so then I come out here and they had made a mess in the living room like in the 10 seconds that I was gone they made a mess. They had found some puzzle pieces and they, they, the puzzle pieces were just scattered everywhere. I'm like, okay, pick it up. Here, let me show y'all what they're doing. Okay, somebody is going to get hurt. Stop it. I have to use my mom voice. I hate using my mom voice. You know why I hate using my mom voice? Because there are glimpses and moments where I sound like my own mother. Y'all need to stop with the blanket. Put it down. Somebody is going to get hurt. Stop it. Y'all know better. See, there's moments where I catch myself and I'm like, I sound like my mom. That ain't cool. Okay. We're going to do one fourth cup of brown sugar. Okay. Okay. Good. You got your mixing? Yeah. Where's your whisk? There right here. No. Whisk. Hold it. Okay. Okay. That's the right. So we're making two servings. So we're going to do two scoops. Washer and a dryer. Yeah. Washer and a dryer. Get all clean. Yeah. Get all clean. Yeah. I know you. Hey. Another one. Yeah. Oh, I have that sesame oil at home. Oh. I got you. <laughs> I put it in, like if I make ramen, I'll put it in there. It tastes really good. Really? I never thought to do that. I tried to look at it. Oh, that's this one in my hand. Ramen, like that's great. I guess you always boil an egg. Like right at the last minute, I'll crack an egg in it. That's close. That's close. And then you break the yolk right when you put it. Oh, it's so good. I do the sesame oil and I do onion. Onion powder. Mix it up real good. Yeah. Just like that. Okay. And then two teaspoons of sesame oil. You gotta keep what? You gotta keep your hand right here. Okay. So that it doesn't fall off the counter. Whoa, this is really good. This is really good. Oh. Okay. So then. Keep it in the bowl. Okay. You don't want it to drip, okay? Okay. okay. Where is this? So this
this is our Sunday, the start of our Sunday, part of our weekend vlog. Let me show you guys what it looks like. Y'all can kind of see out the window what it looks like. Well, let me show you guys real quick. It's about 58 degrees and raining. Rainy, rainy. Uh, we uh, decided to take the boys out to do something. Cause today's kind of a, a sad day for me. Um, a year ago today, my papa passed away. So. He wants to do something to get my mind off of today. So overall, I feel like this weekend was a pretty good weekend. Um, <clears throat> Saturday, we went to my sister's. Um, the footage that I have is of Michael helping her cook, which was so cute. And like I said, he's my helper. So it's no surprise to me that he wanted to help her um, cook. So, and then Ricky was... <laughs> was stemming off of watching the washer and the dryer. She has a front loader so you can see everything and he was just like stemming off of that. Um, so basically we just went over there. Um, the boys got to play with Jordan and me and Jennifer just kind of sat and talked and watched some TV and I mean it wasn't really like whole eventful. Like I said the only footage that I felt like was shareable was Michael helping Jennifer cook and then Ricky stemming off of the washer and dryer. Um, but today is Sunday. Um, it's kind of a sad day for me and my family. Um, I try not to dwell on the sadness too much. I feel like if my papa was here he would want me to um, not wallow in the sadness that he's no longer with us. He passed away a year ago today. Well, the 17th, because you you guys are going to see this tomorrow. Um, but he died on the 17th. And it, it hit me a little harder than I had expected. Um, he was my last living grandfather. And not only my last living grandfather, I was very, very close to him because I didn't have the pleasure of knowing my dad's dad, um, which I called Pa. Um, he passed away when I was about three. So Papa was really the only grandfather figure that I had like really in my life um, so and I don't know we just we had 
Ever since I was a little girl, we had a pretty close bond with one another. Um, you know, I would go everywhere. I would go everywhere with him. Um, when I was little, before I started school, I would load up in his truck and go to Mr. Poche's, which was one of his best friends, who owned like a warehouse um, hardware store. And he would sit there and his some of his brothers were there and his really close friends and he would bring me and he would just get so excited getting out of the truck and he's holding me in his arms and he walks through and he would just announce very loudly he was already a loud <laughs> man he he had a big boistering voice that would just boom like you heard that voice you knew it was my papa so we'd walk in and I'd be in his arms and he would be like hey I got my grandbaby and they'd come in and oh she's so cute you know and like and I would sit there and very quietly play with whatever I could find at this warehouse at this hardware store and these gentlemen would just all be in a circle just talking and I would just and every now and then I'd jump up on his lap and and sit there and not really pay attention to what they were saying but I was with my papa so I was happy like I didn't care what we were doing I was with him and every now and then we'd go get some Dunkin Donuts um, <clears throat> and it just and I just I'm miss that I miss the closeness that we had um he was about 90 when he passed away he, yeah he was 90 when he passed away so I'm lucky enough to say that I had my grandfather for that long um the kind of person he was is the kind of the type of person that any man would aspire to be I mean he was all about family he took care of his family he would he would give the world to his mama he was that close to his mother um, but he was a hard worker all his life and he was a strong strong man um, even in his older years he was a strong strong man um, and I just miss him you know but knowing him and knowing what he would want me to be is you know reflect on my memories and be grateful that I have them but I can't help but smile and knowing that he's with his mom and he's with his dad and he's with my mom all you know and we miss him but I just hmm. <laughs> So we went over to my sister-in-law's and um, they surprised the boys with the trampoline and they had a lot of fun. So, so we just got home and it's pretty late. We stayed um, not as late as we usually would stay. There's times where we just get so caught up talking with Stephanie and Kevin that we look at the time and it's like almost 10 o'clock at night. Um, cause we always just have such a great time going out and just hanging out over there. Um, but they had to, they have work in the morning and I've got stuff, we've got stuff to do here. So it's about later in the evening, about like six, six thirty right now. I don't have my phone with me, but, um, I think this is where I am going to end today's vlog. Um, I'm just going to kind of sit and relax. I have to give the boys a bath and uh, I have to get a grocery list together. <laughs> I don't want to do a grocery list. But um, I hope that you guys enjoyed what I have put together today. This is today in particular was more of a reflective type of day that I think about my papa um, and missing him. But in a way it's just so crazy I like I miss him but I'm so at peace in knowing that he's with all of his loved ones and that he's with my mama 
Um, they were married for 50 years before my grandmother passed away in 2005. So, and it hurt him not to have her with him. So it's just good to know that they're together again. <clears throat> but I do miss him and I do love him very, very dearly. And like I had said on Facebook that I'll say here, um, I'll never stop thinking about him and I'll never stop honoring his memory today and every day. So give this video a thumbs up. Um, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. We would love to have you become a part of the awesome family. What does that mean? Well, it just means that we are raising awareness for autism which ultimately will open the door to acceptance. The more that people know, the more that they can accept what they didn't already know. So if you can get behind that, then click that subscribe button. A bell button will pop up. If you hit that bell button, it'll let you know when we upload next. I love you guys so very much. We'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye.